What's up everybody, this is Alpha Zero at your service. I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Tokyo Ghoul Route A. In other words, this, is key, this could be Tokyo Ghoul sec Season 2 or the second season. Now, for this for this episode, um, I, I did tell you guys I did read the manga, but you know, I don't remember much of the characters anymore since I was so busy on focusing on my own things and so forth. So, if anything else, I'd like to get started right away. Um, of course, we see to it that we have a little pickup of where it ended last last in last week's episode, and the Algiri tree along with Ayato and Kaneki decides to stop the truck. Decides to stop the truck, and later on that time just came by, and we end up seeing that everything was going well, and Kaneki can get attacked by two two. Two ghoul-like creatures, except the moment they took up the mask, they are like one eyes. Now, I remember those two from the manga, that's for sure. No, no joke, I remember those two for sure. And they say, and they did talk, they said to each other, this guy is strong, isn't he? Just like Pop Father or Pop says. And they disappeared right after they looked away for a second or so, and... <laughs> of course, we see to it that... Our friend here, which is pretty much, I think, Yamori's little brother, the Yamori's little brother, the Kaneki Ken, the guy who beat down or something, ends up, he ends up going crazy after getting released or being rescued from the, I don't know, like those C, C, CCG or CGG people, and pretty much he goes like, only a guy like only Yamori has the permission to come in, idiot. But you guys, crack! I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you all to a pulp. But not thinking my mind. Oh, shut up, man! And as the episode progresses, we see to it that Toka's like living a regular human life as usual, you know, and gets invited by Nishiki to go to a go to his university. As for um. Hina, Hinami-chan, we ha see to it that she decides to go to, um, go get her book signed or so, somewhat, and seems to be having a little fun time here and there, though as the episode has its ki has its progression, we see to it that Toko meets kan one of Kanki's best friends, Hime, I believe, well, forgot the, all I know is like, um, yeah, I think his name's Hime, hopefully I got that, hopefully I got his name right and no Hide Hide yeah Hide and they end up talking about Kaneki Ken for a while and as the episode progresses we see to it that Hide does learn some information about some ghouls here and there and is more and I just go up my mind dude I wonder how nosy can you get you know but if, it, if it's about your friend I can understand that but still you don't want to have to leave yourself wide open about what's up as for Yamori's, um, as for Yamori, um, the uh, the little guy, Yamori's little brother, or should I say a guy, or a subordinate that follows him very clearly and sticks with him, sticks with him greatly, or so. Let's just say he ends up mourning the death of his brother, and Kaneki Ken decides to cheer him up a bit. Well, not so much exactly, but you get the point of where I'm standing if you watch the episode. So, we see to it that our little friend, our, that our friend Jason, in other words, that's pretty much, um, the, that's one of the crazy guys' is, uh, um, idol is pretty much, in other, in other cases, if you guys pretty much kept up the series by now, um, let's just say Jason is turned into a King K, well, he was killed, of course, already dead, and, Turned to a King K for one of our um, high 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 ghoul investigators and so forth. He's pretty and pretty much just by looking at it, he's like um, pretty um, happy about his King K that he has. And he decides to call it Jason something. I forgot I forgot the word about it, but still, still it still seems to be kind of cool though. So if anything else, like um, that's about it. And we see to it that things are just going a little hectic around here and there. And the investigators did did mention about a situation where an accident where 
one boy gets damaged organs and he gets transplanted and those two went missing and I just go like well well looks like they're starting to catch up nowadays but they should have caught up the moment they they should have caught up like back then because that should have been like the crazy investigation at most because at le- and so forth and it ends with um, Ayato and Kaneki at the isolated ghoul, ghoul factory or should I say Kinke place where S and double S rated ghouls are there so I just go like well found your place there huh and that's about it so for this episode not too bad you know came out alright could have been better no actually it came out alright overall um still had my enjoyment out of it the old, just hopefully like um it keeps on now I will tell you this like um, some of y'all may not believe me or so but I don't even remember much about some of the characters here and there. Maybe I remember a couple, but not every single one of them since, like, um, and so forth. So, um, I think that's about it for the meantime, you know? So, don't the one-eyed twins, one-eyed ghoul twins show up, and we see to it that things are just, just the ending right there just shows, like, stuff, like, stuff is about to get down now. <laughs> like, sir crazy major events hopefully looking forward to that so yeah that's about it I think this episode came out alright hopefully it keeps up with its um, rifle original route or pacing that's all that matters because like um, I heard this is supposed to be an original so hopefully it comes out to a satis- satisfactory um, conclusion or p- pacing wise so yeah just gonna end it here people I'm off of zero Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video, right? Later. Peace out. Bye-bye.